After day one of Forever Winter, I was not having fun at all. I actually just couldn't understand this game, like how they would put it out, like why they even put it out, even as an early access game. I actually hated it. Kind of like how everyone is hating on the water system in the game right now, but we will get up to that. Trust me, the water system will get touched on in this video. Oh, yes, we will. But then on day two, I started my effort runs where I was like, I'm never going to play this game again for at least a year. So I'll just go out guns blazing and throw everything out the window that I was told about the game and even wanted from the game. You supposedly being the little ant against these tough robots and you're supposed to be stealthy and sneaky. Who cares? I'll just go out there and shoot and go guns blazing and stealth when absolutely necessary. And after doing that, I had a meh time. And that's probably the best thing I could say about the game now. After day two, I had a meh time. See, even after changing a little bit of my play style, there's still so many things that are just so frustrating with this game. So let me start by talking about day one and how everything just went wrong. When I first heard about this game three months ago, this is what really intrigued me. You are a scavenger, lovingly referred to as a scav. Within this combat ecosystem, you assume the role of looter and survivor. Trapped between two warring military factions of the future, each with their own objectives. Outgunned, undersupplied, and constantly under attack, you must rely on cooperation and cunning to survive even minor enemy contact. Situational awareness is key in this world. Stop, look, and listen. Trigger discipline will save your life. A target missed is a bullet wasted, and not every battle is one worth fighting. Okay, so choose your fights very wisely. Don't shoot your gun unless absolutely necessary and just keep scavenging around. The problem is stealth in this game is absolutely ridiculous and just awful at the moment. I should say at the moment. It is early access and there's gonna be a lot of people that come to the rescue of the early access game. Hey, it's early access, you can't be mad at this game. But guess what? I paid money for it. I'm trying to tell you guys what to expect and I'm gonna give you my impressions. Playing this game stealthy is frustrating, like absolutely frustrating. There's no way to just sneak around the map and make it look nice. Like in my head, what I would like to see is a Gears of War cover system. That way you can still see all the way around. You can see where you're moving, but it's right now you're doing this weird third person peek that's not very good. And it's just, it's just bad. The other issue I have is as much as it says it's an open world, there's so many ways to go around this world. There's really not, it funnels you quite a bit. And if there is bots in your way, you pretty much just have to wait. To me, that's crazy. In a game like this, shouldn't there be like some sort of like decoy grenade you can throw and then that way, it, it makes the robots go in another direction so you can like slip past them. I would think decoy grenades would be one of the main items you use in a game like this, but no, there's nothing. You can't throw a rock, you can't throw a bottle, even though there is bottles in the game. You can't throw anything to distract these robots. And it's so frustrating. One of the most odd design choices though that I've seen, and not many people have been talking about this is, it's a looter shooter, right? So you're a scavenger, you're getting all those little trinkets from the robots that either kill each other or you kill by chance. And when you loot something, it doesn't show you your inventory. So say you, you have a full backpack and you're like, oh, this stuff's really good. You have to go outside of whatever you're looting, go into your backpack, drop stuff, then go back in. That makes no sense. Why can't I see my backpack while I'm looting? But even after all these gripes, I can't help but be in awe of the world they have created. The environments and characters they have surrounding you are dope. Plain and simple, they're dope. They really did hit this one out of the park. The game though is very, very early access. If you are a person that gets mad and complains about EA titles, blah, 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 stay away. I'm warning you right now, stay away from this game. I do believe in Fun Dog Studios though. And that's why I didn't refund the game right away. I wasn't having fun day one and I could have easily refunded it. 
but I want to support the game in their vision. But the one thing in their vision I don't understand is this water thing. The biggest gripe from the community right now is water storage for your hideout. You see, you collect water while out in the battlefield or you get it as a reward from doing tasks. And while you have a certain amount of water, you unlock things in your hideout. But your water has a real world timer on it. So say you collect 10 days of water. If you don't play this game before those 10 days are up and get more water, all the things you unlocked in your hideout go away, which isn't too bad. It's punishing, but I don't think it's too punishing. But you also lose your entire character stash. All guns, meds, your rig components, everything you have is gone. Poof, we are gone. The only thing you get to keep is your character experience. You do get a cap of 55 days, but all the arguments I've heard just don't change my opinion on this. Why is this punishing hardcore type of system in a game that's still so early access? Plain and simple, you want people to play this and test things out. The water system can easily be changed so you don't have anxiety when not playing. If you want to change it when the, the game finally comes out, awesome. But putting this in a game this early on will just drive people away. You want people to come back and test out all those new updates you guys worked so hard on. I just worry that this will deter them from doing that and giving feedback on those new changes. Like I said though, on day two, I had an okay time. I went from hating the game to meh. And I think that's a huge win. How did I do that though? Well, I was playing this like any other shooter, which really bummed me out, especially because the shooting feels so clunky and the hit reg just feels really off. I hated this day one because I was expecting something different. I was expecting a game that just isn't there yet. Now, if you're having fun playing this game, awesome. I'm pumped for you. I even might play it a little bit longer just to really see every nook and cranny. But I do have to warn you guys, most people very much don't like this game. There are people for sure that like this game, they are even love this game, but they are definitely the minority. The majority of people are sick of early access games. They're sick of getting burnt by them. They're sick of just like having all these false promises. And I don't want you guys to go into other people's comment section or into their, I would say, Twitch streams like anything like that and try to be like well you just aren't playing the game right bro like you just don't understand it no th they understand it and there's a lot to dislike i i'm trying to stay positive i'm trying to be glass half full here you guys more times than not all the people i've talked to have given this game about an hour two tops and they're out there's just more to dislike about this game than there is to like. It doesn't really do much aside from the world building and the characters. Other than that stuff, there's really nothing that it does exceptionally well. It's one of those things that it's like, okay, that's cool. Now let's wait a year. But like I said, if this game's environment ideas are really resonating with you, and you have the funds, support Fundog Studios. I don't think it's going to be a studio that turns and burns your money. I, I believe in this company. I think in a year or two, this game will be hopefully something special. Right now, is it? Mm, not really. But I, I, I really hope and I, I, I kind of feel it. I kind of feel like, you know, I, I really want to as a Canadian glass half full everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like always, if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. It is free for you guys. It does mean the world to me. Also, I'm going to be streaming this game at, at least a couple more times on twitch.tv slash geeksay. Come by, hang out. Until next time, I'll talk to everyone later. I'm just going to quickly post this meme here so I can post it on people's comments because I know some of the comments are going to get really out of hand. Only, it's only game. Why do you have to be mad?